Hello guys, it's VR English of No Limits Gaming. I am showing you a very quick nuke on Skid Row. Um, it's important to be on defense for this nuke. And it needs to be on demolition. Uh, because it's the only guaranteed way that you're going to be able to control their spawns and keep them outside for the air support. So this is an air support nuke, you need to be aware of that. But uh, the Road to the Harriers is quite exciting, so I hope you enjoy it. And I, t I talk you through my errors and what I do right. Starting off with my errors, before I talk about my streaks and setups, is I push their spawn on the right hand side following the tunnel to go for the quick spawn kill. Um, this is actually a huge mistake because the harder of the two bombs to both cap and defend is bomb B. And by me moving over here, I'm pushing their spawn closer to bomb B. So I learn the error of my ways fairly quickly and I move back. I haven't realised that they've planted both bombs due to me and my friends manipulating of the spawns. I also um, make both of my deaths here from my indecision of where to look. I'm trying to listen listen out for his footsteps and I look the wrong way. And I do both of both of my deaths occur from me looking the wrong way and making the decision too late. Here's the first one here. At the end of the day, I think it's just concentrating, and you need to make a deci make, make a snap decision fairly quickly. So back to my kill streaks and setups: ACR red dot, extended mags aids while scavenger stop and power sit rep. Using the fact that I pushed the spawns over to the right, get the double kill off my respawn. Um, using sit rep pro. I recognise there's an enemy there, very useful. Uh, people tend to make a big mistake with claymores, I would say 60-40% of the time in that they plant them facing the same way that they are and they look that way when really claymores should be designed to look at your back. Regardless, claymores are a brilliant indicator of where people are and Sivrep is the ultimate cure to that. The choice of making Sivrep Pro actually useful was made this a invaluable perk in the game rather than something in Call of Duty 4 wasn't actually used that much by the majority of people. Um, I'm close to making my mistake again. Teammates calling out there on B. Immediately move to get to the middle of the action. And it's important here that you realise that I do the YY to, to quickly switch back to the weapon that I was switching away from. Um, it's important to be aware of how many people are dying and how many people are still alive because to be killing people on the respawn people have to be respawning so if people aren't dying at your side of the map then you're unable to do this. Another very quick tip about this area, very very good area to go for quick kills. It's important to pull in your harriers quickly because you're never safe in this area of the map because they'll spawn either side of you. Um, and as you saw earlier, I planted it I planted a claymore in a corner where I had just been. I do it again there through that doorway. Um, cause people run to k kill you, whether you are, they look where you were last, and they run right into your claymore. Easy kill, easy kill. Um, I'm running away to get to the air, su air support now because you can't do a quick harrier, a quick chopper gun and call in like you can the harrier because it's a 45 seconds in the air minimum unless it gets shot down. Um, and you'll soon see that I'm highlighting the very, very key part of this map in that if you're on defense you can spawn kill them outside, whereas if you're on offense and you have a chopper gunner, there are so many places they can run to. Um, and so the chopper gunner, it's quite unfair on this map, it literally sits behind this spawn and I get a very, very easy nuke. And since I'm running out of time here and you know I'm going to get the nuke, let you know that I go on with the video to get another Harry's and top again, but we win the game too convincingly, so can't go for the double nuke. But this is a sub five minute nuke, so I hope you like it. Uh, I've been trying to do this commentary several times, and I've overrun my recording a few times, so I'm gonna cut it short here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this is helpful. Hope you learn from my mistakes and realise how easy it is to utilise this map to your advantage. Pleasure doing videos for you guys, and I'll speak to you again soon. If you like it, if you like it, I'll keep posting them. If you don't like it, I'll start posting something different. Thank you very much. It's very good to go now.